finally got all of our trim, all of our doors, just everything we need. Bunch of tile supplies. We, what do we grab here? We even grabbed a laser beam. Check that Dang, son. Check that out, man. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we kept moving with our tile and we actually got both of the upstairs bathroom floors completely knocked out. And them suckers turned out absolutely amazing. And we even installed a steam generator in the master bathroom where we plan on building a steam room. And that sucker was super technical because we had to do some plumbing and some electrical for the very first time. But I think we got it knocked out and properly installed. And that's exactly where we're actually gonna continue today is in the master. And we're gonna start focusing on the shower itself. But before we can install any type of tile or any type of cement board anything like that we got to focus on the shower bed and it's going to require a special sort of rubber liner and even some sort of special mortar where we got to build like a certain grade straight into that drain that way the water flows properly and we do got a lot of work on our hands because we want to knock out this tile out asap that way we can move on to other things so let's just go ahead hop inside and just get straight to work Alrighty guys, so check this out. We are moving right along and the very first thing we did was cover up the floors. Yeah, dude, we covered up all the tile that we did because we don't want to risk scratching this stuff, damaging it, or even getting like dirt inside the grout lines, especially on a muddy day like this, man, you're gonna have like mud grout. Dude. Oh dude, we did not want that. So we went ahead and covered both bathrooms, took the extra precaution, and before we actually did that pen liner, what did we do? Right dude, there, we man. run the actual uh, thermostat here for our steamer here, so our controller box is gonna be somewhere around the door area. That way when you open it, you can cut it off and on and stuff like that but most importantly we got our rubber pan liner installed as you can tell we did some nice folded corners did take a good bit of time because we we're kind of doing research while we were doing this to be extra precautious since we're on the second floor we don't want any leaks at all dude. no sir yeah and on top of that you even threw a piece of sealant around that right yeah, there threw like some that? rubber sealant on the inside of that be underneath this thing and we tightened it cut it perfectly that way if anything ever leaks underneath the tile it's going to just drain eventually just down inside the drain yes sir here. definitely got to make this 100 waterproof and on top of that we threw some two by sixes right yeah threw some two by sixes on each end over here because you uh, said last minute what are we gonna screw our big piece of glass to and this is the perfect thing to screw it down to so we went ahead and threw two pieces and uh, I mean all we had was just this two by four that wouldn't have done it right? yeah I'm so glad because that that piece of glass I believe is gonna be super heavy and that's gonna look super cool all glass oh dude. yeah that's gonna be legit and we threw a two by six right there for our cement board and we made a little box right here so this is gonna be like an indented piece in the tile that way you can put your shampoo your body wash your bars of soap whatever dude. dude that is gonna be super sweet when you tile it up and keep in mind we do gotta actually slope this bottom one like this that way water kind of drips out oh, yeah, right dude, you gotta slope this i think you 
I believe you gotta kinda slope the ceiling too. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you kinda wanna slope it one way. That way you don't have like a rain uh, shower going in here once yeah. it gets super. Cause condensation is gonna be crazy in here and you want the water to kinda like flow off like a waterfall, Or right? you can make it like flow off one way or something like that. I mean, heck, we're gonna definitely do our research before we just start slapping stuff on. But before we actually start doing our mortar like bedding here, we gotta have our cement boards on the walls. That way we do it towards the cement board. But before we even throw our cement boards on the walls, we gotta go ahead and actually rip out a piece of sheetrock, dude. That is right, dude. Technically, we could actually just like tile up to that, I believe, because that is waterproof sheet uh, sheetrock. But I feel like uh, the cement board would be better, dude. Oh yeah, it's gonna have a stronger bond, I believe. Like since we're having a steamer in here, it's gonna be super hot and steamy, and that can eventually like a piece of tile can hit you in the head when you're steaming one day, and you wake up the next morning, dude. What? Dude, that'd be uh -huh. insane. Yeah. So we definitely gotta make sure we do this right. I think cement board would create waterproofness. And on top of that, since we're gonna be ripping this out, I say we add another can light since Ooh. there's one right here we want one over here that way everything's symmetrical dude. dude that's great thinking yeah just split the difference two can lights dude you can't go wrong with a lot of lighting oh lighting. yeah oh yeah definitely so i say we go ahead and grab some tools a step ladder and try to rip out this piece of sheetrock Alrighty guys, so there you have it. After a couple of hours, we finally got all the cement board installed. Of course, we got the sheetrock up top cut out and we even installed that can light right there. Everything is looking absolutely amazing, but what did this take, like six hours, dude? Dude, six to eight hours, dude. This took a very long time, but we got it all knocked out with just the cement board and the pan, dude. We got oh, that sucker man. looking good, man. Dude, we had to, we had to do this 100% legit everything right. And honestly, look how dark it is outside, dude. We should be going to bed, but we're actually about to be building a bed, dude. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> that's what's next. We got to do a lot of cleanup, dude. We, I'm so happy that we actually covered all this tile right here. Because look at all this soot and just grime and grits and oh, whatever. Oh, man, dude. There's a lot of dirt. But we got our custom float right here, the bedding mortar that we're about to use. Hopefully, one bag is enough. And uh, we should be laying some bed, man. Exactly. Yeah, we want to get this out tonight. That way, tomorrow, we could actually start on the tile. Because I think that bed stuff should dry fairly quick. And uh, it's super light. It's so like this bag is kind of weird, dude. It's pretty dang light. I think light. it's like very like like a, a fluff. It's like yeah. almost like a fluff mortar or something like that. It's like aerated or something like yes, whatever sir. you call it. But anyways, I guess that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and clean everything up. We got a huge mess in here. I guess start mixing up some of this. What do you call it? Custom float bedding mortar, and hopefully just uh, lay it down.
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here. We did work super late into the night, but we did end up knocking that shower bed completely out. Which we're actually gonna show you guys here in a little bit. But well, we ran by the Home Depot this morning to grab a bunch of tile supplies. We, what did we grab here? We even grabbed a laser beam. Check that sucker dude, out, that, dude. I've seen some people do laser beam like uh, aligning with tile, and I was like, dude, if they got that, we gotta cop it. And dude, check that, that thing dude. out, man. This little device right here was 250 bucks, dude. So I think it's like super, like you could use it for multiple things. Like you could level stuff out. You dude, could even do dirt work like with it, dude. Windows, tiles, electrical, plumbing, anything you you can think of. Dude. You need a line that thing can do it right I can't there can't wait man. to fire that sucker up but look at the tile that we got we got like the little penny tile right here i call this the good old typewriter stuff right yeah, there the dude. typewriter stuff that stuff is gonna, I, I love that stuff right there it yeah. looks really cool this is dude. just going on the actual shower floor that the bed on top of the bed and on the ceiling um i don't know no i think it, in the bed and just in that little like indention in the yeah. in the thing too yes sir and also we got some subway tile but we didn't go with like the short pieces we went with the longer pieces i think it'll make our job a little bit easier plus it'll still look good i think and, it'll look better than yeah. the shorter maybe pieces. it will yeah i think so too and then we got some trim or some edges right here some borders this is just like to do like the final the, the end piece if you or will like all the yeah all the end pieces and stuff like that and then a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff which we'll get to that a little bit later and also we even got the trim guys at the house right now they're unloading a bunch of trim indoors so i'm super excited to see what they brought us so let's just go ahead head back up the mountain and probably just get straight back to work Alrighty guys, so check this out. We finally made it back home and on the way up here we seen somebody passing us. Who dude, JB Millworks <laughs> was passing us on the way up here and dude, check this out, dude. We finally got all of our trim, all of our doors, just everything we need to trim this whole entire house out, dude. Dude, I'm so excited about this because this is basically getting us so close to like just the paint and then like living in this thing I really know, dude. dude as soon as the trim goes on that's when the primer the paint and everything just starts coming together and that's when everything just starts flowing faster and we have cabinets coming in here real soon as well once the cabinets are in here all we got left is to basically finish the floors up and we are good dude, dude this tile has been a little bit difficult i'm not gonna lie dude the showers it's super time consuming stuff especially whenever you're you know you got a full tile showers and stuff like that dude. and we're gonna do something crazy with this master bedroom shower which we'll get to that a little bit later and it's yeah. gonna probably take a little bit more time dude a little bit more time but it's gonna be well worth it at the end but dude let's go like just go through some of these doors dude, right here dude this is cool because we got a vented door right there i guess that's for airflow yeah and that's that for with the ac unit that's sitting right there underneath the stairs and for that for this garage door as well because it's going to be sucking air through all this sections over here this is our little door right here for our water heater closet right there that's pretty cool how they got all this custom made this is actually a sliding door right yes, here. yes I actually ordered the sliders off of Amazon and we're just gonna bolt that right up to it We're gonna be building a custom door though for the master. Which, yes. Uh, do you want to do that? Yeah, oh definitely dude build our own door dude, dude, We might awesome. as well. I mean we're doing everything dude. I know, Come right, on, dude. man. But as for the trim over here I mean we could just we even got the rails, you know for our handrails for the stairs and Dude, most important thing Door, is- uh, Step the, treads, that's what you call treads. those. Yeah, so these are the, our steps right here, dude. They're all solid wood right here, hardwood. These are legit, Dang, man. That's nice. That's actually the red oak that's gonna match the upstairs floor. It's just gonna look amazing, dude. Yeah. What else have we got here? We got some uh, one by fours. We got like the most modern trim possible. Yeah, one by fours. We got a little bit of crown. We're not doing much. We're just doing it like mainly in the, uh, probably the master and a little bit in the hallway and stuff like that, just in the bedroom. Yeah, exactly. I mean. We got everything that we need right here and uh, I decided like if if this right here is less than uh, 4,500, we'll shave half of your mustache off. 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, I was thinking that'd be super funny. Imagine this, like every scene you'd shave a little bit well, of your just mustache. Just a little bit off until it's all gone. I wonder if they would even notice. Probably at the end or halfway through it, people will probably think it's super weird. Something's going on. I thought that'd be super hilarious. I couldn't, hey. couldn't convince you though. I was thinking about it. I was like, dude, that would be totally hilarious. Maybe here soon. We won't tell them though, you know. I know, to, but I kind of spoiled it already. So uh, it defeats the purpose. Happen. Just grow that sucker out, Just man. Just grow it out, man. But anyways, dude, check these out. Dude, we even have everything for our uh, handrails and stuff like that. This is like what's going to go around the post. And, and I mean, we got our rails too, right? Yeah, right here. That's the handrails right there or what? We got oh. our actual rods. rods, dude. That is going to be sick, dude. dude. I've seen in like some places, like they actually use metal rebar to make dude, it look industrial. I've seen that too. That is legit. I wonder if it'll look good with like this right here. Maybe. Maybe, dude, but we already, we already ordered this. So we're probably just gonna use that. Yeah, it's and gonna look good, dude. I don't know if that's one thing that we're gonna do ourselves, right? Yeah, though the stairs and the rails and stuff, we'll probably just get a trim guy out here because this stuff is like has to be precise, especially uh, they have to like go ahead and pre-drill all these holes right here. If they were already drilled, we would have did it ourselves. Dude, but who knows? You know, once we get to research and we start doing YouTube watching, we start and stuff, buying more tools and stuff like that, and we end up just doing everything ourselves. But that's you the never fun know. in it, dude. I yeah. mean, if you got the opportunity to learn something. Dude, might, might as well do might it. Might as well dude. do it. But we're gonna start with the doors first, you know, do the doors, do the baseboards, you know, all the trim around the windows and stuff like that, and just see where we go from there, dude. dude heck yeah, this is this is getting closed in. This house project is gonna be over before you know it. But as of right now, what are we gonna move on to next? Dude, we gotta go ahead and jump in the master bathroom and uh, show them what we did on the shower pan floor and start laying down some tile, dude. Is smack dab in the middle look at that dude. dude look at the line dude that is perfectly straight and i think it was called like a self-leveling so it kind of like levels itself out i did notice something when i moved it around look at that Dude, what? It basically has like some sort of built-in gyro yeah, or something Yeah, that's why like it that. definitely has like some kind of gyro, some kind of technology. That's probably why it's worth so much. $250 for that thing is super pricey. But dude, look at that line right there, dude. That is a line that we can go off and do tile off. Dude, that dude. may be a little bit pricey, but you know what? If it can make the job a lot easier and better, more professional. Yeah, way worth it. I mean, I've watched so much videos before we actually started doing tile, and that's what like all the professionals use is a, is a nice laser level. That way you don't make marks on the walls and stuff like that and go off of stuff like that this right here you literally set it anywhere you can put this sucker just anywhere you want and it'll throw you a straight line man dude that is just some amazing technology we're definitely going to not only use that for tile but for like trim other yeah, stuff dude trim doors you can do light fixtures you can set up mirrors picture frames whatever you want that right there will do it right dude, there that man. is such an awesome universal laser beam right there but the next thing that we're going to check out is actually this pan right here dude, and so uh, we walked into something kind of unexpected this morning right i mean since we did kind of finish uh super late in the night yesterday this probably didn't have enough time to dry and it's still kind of wet so if you can you see that that's oh, kind of yeah, crazy that's not dude. good dude but you know what we could probably just blast the heater and it may speed the uh, the process up a little bit right oh yeah should i mean hopefully it just dries it up completely but if not we're probably gonna have to just move on to the next shower or finish this shower up 100 you exactly, know because yeah. we still got a red guard everything dude. okay that's very true so we got plenty to do on our hands so i guess let's just keep moving let's do it
check that out, man. Dude. We got a few samples down and you might be noticing some different designs going on over here, dude. dude. Look at that, dude. What do you call that pattern right there, dude? That is called, I think, the herringbone pattern right there. It's just a way they just stack these things up that looks like they're, like, I guess pointing in one direction right here. Look, there's three different ways to do it. That's the one method that I kind of really dig right dude, there, I've dude. I've seen pictures of that, and, I mean, it looks outstanding, I dude. I know, dude. Especially with, like, instead of white grout, we may even go with, like, a darker grout, maybe, like, a black. I think that will look Ooh, really good. Sell black? Black grout? Yeah, dude, I think I seen like uh, some white tile with black grout, and I was like, dude, we got to do that because it looks so good. Dude, the contrast would just be perfect. Like, since we got black and white here, black and white there, dude, I think it'd be spot yeah, on. Yeah, we're going to be using white grout here because that's just the way that tile is made. You got to use white grout. But here, dude, we can use probably like a darker grout. Not, we don't have to use black. We can use a dark gray or something like that, but I think black will be the way dude, to go. Dude, definitely. Let us know what you guys think, yeah. but I got to say, this right here is definitely going to test our patience, our expertise all that dude. dude like the hexagonal shape tile over there kind of was technical this right here is probably gonna be even crazier just advancing level and step by step step but it up a notch man Might that, as well, dude. that's it man it's gonna look so good on the wall and do we do the same pattern on the ceiling too Ooh, i don't know we're, we're definitely gonna have to do some more research before we get started uh, with this but we are definitely gonna start in the next video right yeah definitely gonna start we're running out of time man this stuff took forever to do right here but i mean we went ahead and just red guarded everything uh, as well as you can tell because you know we're going with the steam room you gotta go ahead and make it as waterproof as possible yes sir yeah better be safe than sorry and also we got pops in the next bathroom over there patching a hole in the floor yeah, patching a hole in the floor where the plumbers had to move the drain and stuff like that so that bathroom is almost ready for a uh, dura rock and tile and everything else that's probably gonna be the bathroom we're gonna jump on next but after that dude the first thing that i want to do is knock this out dude, dude i can't wait till this is all tiled up but i guess like we said it'll be in the next one. Oh yeah but guys that is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video we're super excited to get started on the custom tile shower and on top of that we got all of our trim in so this house is going to get thrown together and it's going to be over before you know it and the finished product is just going to be absolutely epic but make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.